What's up guys, Owned by Tomato here, welcome back to another one of my videos. Now normally I cover gameplays and this is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do, but I know that it's something that a lot of people are interested in. Now, up until yesterday, I wasn't able to secure a pre-order for my PlayStation VR. So what I did was this website that I'm at right now, www.nowinstock.net, actually alerted me whenever one became available. So since all the pre-orders are sold out for the PSVR, the only way that one becomes available is if somebody cancels their pre-order and then that website puts those one or two back up on their website. And so since it's not on this main screen, let's go ahead and search for PSVR and then it'll be the first link. Now you can do this with anything that you're having trouble finding, but the PSVR was the main thing I was looking for. Now from this screen, as you can see, the recent in stock history, Newegg had some pre-order bundles available yesterday and I was able to snag one of them. I think there was maybe one or two because down here in the comments, someone said they had it in their cart into their credit card number and it was sold out. Someone else asked if they charged because I was kind of panicking too that I didn't push the order all the way through, but I eventually got a pre-order email uh, verifying that I, I did in fact secure my pre-order. Now I'm gonna go over how to set this up. So what we're gonna wanna do is log in and I'm gonna log in using my information, I'll cut this out, but what you'll do is you'll register for a free account, it's just like registering anywhere else. Okay, from this screen, once you get logged in, these are my current alerts. These are the alerts that I have active on my account right now. But just for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and take them off. I'm gonna take them all off and then I'll re-add them so that you can see the whole process. And so once you're logged in, go back and find the PSVR, so, We'll go to the main screen so that we can search. Well, that was not PSVR, but it works. Okay, now that we're back here, while logged in, you can add slash manage alerts. So we're gonna click on this and it'll pop up with add item for each of the websites that have had the pre-order available. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go, go ahead and click add item to each of these because honestly I didn't care whether it was the launch bundle or the core headset because if it came down to it, I would buy <laughs> I would buy a PlayStation Move and the controller because I did actually not get in on the initial pre-order. Initially, it's gonna be desktop browser and email delivery alerts, which I never even got the, the email alert, but the one that is the reason that I got it is almost everybody's phones connected to the internet these days. You can actually add your phone number to the account. It'll send you a message verifying so that you can verify your phone number. And then once you have those secured or turned on, this one's a pre-order status, which is what you want for the PSVR. This one's gonna be in stock, which none of them are gonna be in stock until after release day. You want to make sure you have this last column selected because that's gonna tell you whenever it becomes available for pre-order. And so for me, the new egg one is the one that pinged, but anytime anybody cancels one and any of these sites put one back up, it's going to send you a text message or an email and alert you that it's available. Now they're gonna go quick. The one I got went within about 30 minutes, I believe. And so once you have these selected, you can go back here and you can see that they are all selected again. They're all on my account. Now, if you wanted something else, you can obviously go in and add it. But for the main thing I was looking for was the PSVR, and I was successful in grabbing one. Now, the downside is that I'm not going to get it on day one unless I wanted to pay $60 for shipping. I'm going to get it about two or three days after release, which is a real, real bummer. But at least I have a pre-order secured. So yeah, for you guys out there that are still hoping for a pre-order bundle, or just the core headset itself. There's still hope. It's getting more and more slim as it gets closer to release day, but I'm sure some are gonna pop up before the actual release date. So there's still a chance besides going to eBay and paying outrageous prices. I'm so glad that I found this website and I wanted to put this out there for you guys that are interested in getting that pre-order. But that being said, if you use this and you actually snag a pre-order, leave it in the comments below. I would love to see that I helped you guys out. But yeah, for you guys out there that are interested in the PlayStation VR, if you're looking for a channel that's gonna be covering gameplays, doing commentaries on the different games as they release, 
check out some of my other content right now it's focused on the vive but as soon as the playstation vr comes out i'm going to be hitting that really hard covering as many of those titles as humanly possible go ahead and check out some of my stuff if you like my style Feel free to subscribe. I'm going to be doing a PlayStation VR hype week leading up to the release of the PlayStation VR. Uh, I have a lot of different things planned. It should be fun. It should be cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to check out my channel if you're interested. Other than that, if this video helped you out, hit the like button. I'm going to go ahead and end this video before I end up rambling. This has been Owned by Tomato. Later, guys.